Hello everyone, Xpensage here, and I'm gonna share my 1.21 automatic minecart loading and unloading system. This works for both Java and Bedrock edition of the game. So finally, no need to make revisions for the parity issues in Redstone of these Minecraft versions. This is a really easy build. And when I say easy, I really do mean easy. Like aside from gathering the materials, you can build this in less than one minute. If you want to skip to the start of the tutorial, use the time post here. Just so you know, if this is the design you are looking for, let me give a quick demo and walk around of this design. That was the previous design. We hop in and it automatically sends you on your way. When you come back, it automatically ejects you. A new minecart is dispensed after you ride out, so another player can use the same system and take a ride right after you leave. It can also have a minecart buffer of 24 inside the system, even more if you add a chest or barrel to its minecart buffer. Everything you need for each station is in my inventory. Feel free to pause the video to take note of the materials. You'll need more rails and powered rails depending on the length of your rail system. Place a dispenser facing up, then three solid blocks level with this dispenser. I suggest using non-flammable blocks because we will use fire to retrieve mine carts later on the build. Place two solid blocks here, then an observer facing this direction. Place a string in front of this observer. It is important to place this string now and not later because the toggled state will be different if you place it later. Place a copper bulb behind this observer. If sometime later your system stops working properly, break and replace this copper bulb to reset the toggled state. Now we need to make an X pattern of solid blocks here. We place temporary blocks, then break these blocks to make an X pattern. Place a comparator facing away from the copper bulb then a redstone dust here and here. Finally, a repeater here facing towards the copper bulb's direction. I will put this on four ticks of delay, but at the end of the video, we will place it back to two ticks of delay only. This is just to demonstrate the effects and possible problems down the line. Solid block beside the dispenser, redstone dust here, and a redstone torch here. This part is done. Now we make the unloading part. Place three hoppers, with the first one pointing to the dispenser, then add solid blocks for the rails later. This is the unloading, then this is the loading part. At the end, we place a lit soul sand or soul soil. This will destroy incoming mine carts for collection. You can also use netherrack if you want the flame to be of different color. If you used flammable blocks in your system, you can also use cactus on sand to destroy the mine cart. We can now safely enclose the back of our system to give it a clean look. We can also close this part. Please make sure this block is a solid block. So this is the direction of our rail system. We break this solid block and place a redstone torch below its position. Replace the solid block and place an activator rail on top. It should power on to allow it to eject players or mobs. Add regular rails all the way to the hopper, then add more rails to curve to your rail system. Because this system makes use of only one line of rails for arrival and departure, we made the unloading section before the loading section to make the rails curve to the unloading section. If you have separate arrival and departure lanes, you can put down any part of the rails first. To make the loading section, first place a powered rail followed by regular rails. Connect this to the rest of the rail system. Place the first minecart down on the powered rail, then add more minecarts to this hopper. If you're building this on a server, you might want to add a barrel or chest on top of this hopper to add more minecarts if your rail system will be heavily used. Otherwise, I think five minecarts will do. That's the end of the build. To demonstrate how this system works, I will make a short loop of rails here. Obviously, in your world, you'll be adding another station at the other end of your track. Another auto minecart system at both ends of your railroad will allow you to travel to and fro easily. To use, simply click on the minecart to ride and the minecart will go. When you come back to the station, you are automatically ejected. A new minecart is also placed on the tracks as you leave, ready for another player or for your next use. Earlier, we set the repeater delay to 4 ticks. The optimal setting is actually 2 ticks of delay only. 
If you set it to 1, which is the default when placing down a repeater, multiple minecarts could be ejected, as you can't leave the string fast enough as the copper bulb reverts to off position. I have tested this on the latest Bedrock version, and the system works like in Java. Remember to adjust this repeater if multiple minecarts are being ejected. What are some minor issues you might encounter? I have been using a similar design in my world since Java 1.14, and only three problems have been encountered, assuming you built it correctly in the first place. One, minecarts could be dispensed multiple times. Before Java 1.21 and the copper bulb, Bedrock players followed the tutorial for the Java edition, and that would naturally end in disaster. Now, we can just adjust the repeater if this problem arises. Second, minecarts go missing. I built some of these stations near nether portals, and zombified pigmen would sometimes Sometimes take a free ride off to despawn once they are ejected. If you have any mobs around this station, make sure to fence off or secure it from them. Remember, mobs can collide with the minecart and be carried off automatically. Eventually, your station will run out of minecarts to dispense. Lastly, if ever your station is not working properly, just break and replace the copper bulb. This will correct the toggled state of the station. This is unlikely to happen unless some weird chunk loading or unloading happens while the system is halfway at circuit, or you touch the string midway your build while it was not completed. That's it. That's the build completed. Make sure to check the description for potential issues and fixes. You can also comment down below for any suggestions. Enjoy your automatic station and consider subscribing to stay updated for future builds. Shout out to XPen Envy for the original version of this station. I am XPen Sage. See you in the next one.